Automatic Short Circuit Current Calculation. The Load Feeder Configurator in the TIA Selection tool is able to perform the Short Circuit Current Calculation. This is a calculation that is ultimately required in the new EN60204-1 standard of 2019 and serves to ensure that the switchgear used can detect and switch off the maximum short circuit current and also the minimum residual current. The Load Feeder Configurator Plus IEC in the TIA Selection tool automatically determines the relevant short circuit currents for you. Here in the overview, you see the short circuit currents on the one hand up here at the infeed and on the other hand down here directly at each individual load. These are the calculated short circuit values. You can specify the maximum short circuit current by switching to infeed parameters and entering the maximum short circuit current that is applied directly at the main switch. Based on this value, the load feeder configurator in the TIA selection tool calculates the corresponding short circuit current values and displays these values at the load, here at the bottom. How this works in detail is shown in the following. You create a new load, click on the electrical load, and select the properties as usual. In our example, this is a mains operated motor with a mechanical output of 5.5 kilowatt. You can then enter the cable length. This is essential for the short circuit current because it significantly dampens the current by adding resistance. Here you should specify the cable length from the protection device of your load feeder to the load. In addition, you can enter the environmental parameters and the cable properties outside the control cabinet. One step further at switch gear, in the lower selection area, the temperatures and cable properties inside the control cabinet, such as the laying method B1, can also be entered. Just click on Calculate and the Load Feeder Configurator will illustrate the specified maximum short circuit current and the calculated minimum short circuit current in the top right corner. Also, the minimum and maximum short circuit current of a load will be shown in the bottom right corner. One important detail remains to be said. The Load Feeder Configurator Plus configures the cable in such a manner that the minimum short circuit current is always high enough for the protection device to clearly detect a dangerous single pole fault, that is, a single pole short circuit, and to switch off the system in under 0.4 seconds. Have fun with the Load Feeder Configurator Plus in the TIA Selection Tool. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.